Oh. This is chopped after hours, right? It's chopped way after hours. I really don't know what I'm making. Great, let's go. <laughs> They're up from the chopping block and right where they like to be, in the kitchen. Our judges get to do the cooking after hours. Alex, Jeffrey, Chris, this is going to be sweet. I mean, this is going to be really, really, really sweet. Maybe even sweeter than you three. Oh, Teddy. Not possible. Not possible, Ted. OK, so in the dessert round for our kids' competition, 10 and 11-year-olds managed to make yummy desserts using banana pudding, vanilla ice cream, icing, and brownie mix. Baskets like this that have a lot of familiar Americana are actually the toughest, because in a way, you could kind of just put all this together and be done. And the challenge is to figure out something to make that reinvents what's here. I was joking to Alex before we, we started here that I was going to actually make a savory dish with this. And, but I'm only half kidding. Like, I think that's the only route you can go, is kind of start taking it down that other road. You've got to cut some of the sweetness, right? All of the best restaurants in the country are sort of tilting away from excessive sweetness. Yeah, I think there are a lot of savory components going into dessert now, Ted. And I have to be honest, there's little better than a warm brownie and some ice cream melting over it. But sugar, 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 there's just no relief. And so it's going to be about adding stuff to kind of break this up. I'm going right at the sweetness. I am. It's dessert. I don't know. Let's see, Ted. Let's get to cooking it. All right, judges, 30 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. Oh! 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 oh that was so stressful. <laughs> Locked him right out of the pantry. Nice work, Chris. All right. What am I doing? Brown banana. OK. Oh, my gosh. Stressful. Do we not have nonstick spray? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to work smarter and not harder. Alex, we're going to go in with a little orange juice, getting some tartness in there. It's really, really, really interesting to see you using orange and orange zest. I know that's something you're often made nervous by when other yeah. people do it. What's going on? I'm going for the Americana. I'm going for that creamsicle flavor, Love. which I just associate with uh, chocolate and some of these flavors in the basket, something I really liked as a kid. Right. I think when you attach a personal story to dessert, Ted, and you go with that feeling, you get the best result. I agree. It even smells like that cream soup. It That's smells it. great. Yeah. yeah. So, Iron Chef Sakarian. Yes, Chef. You are adding some real dark chocolate mm. to the brownie mix, Cocoa correct? powder. Oh, cocoa powder. All right. Can you give us an idea? You are making waffles. I'm making chocolate brownie waffles, baby. This is the Sakarian family waffle iron. It is. Outstanding chocolate Look at waffles. That. Oh. And do I also see rum? Rum. Rum. Rum and bourbon. A little toasted marshmallow milkshake. You know, Jeffrey, nobody ever makes milkshakes I in don't the know. job kitchen. I used to have milkshakes my entire life. Oh, I, I love, love milkshakes. Chris, what is going on? I was on Chopped All Stars once, if you remember. I do remember well. And I got chopped. I if you forgot remember. that part. In the first round, you were robbed. Uh, I made a quesadilla. I still stand by that dish, so I'm making a quesadilla again. But I'm doing a dessert quesadilla. Well, so I'm actually going to half bake these, just half bake it. Okay. And then I'm going to smear it on one of the layers of the quesadilla. Okay. Sounds like a fully baked idea. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> All right, folks. Only 20 minutes until this bright red frosting is going to be part of your dessert. Are you making ice cream? That is not fair. I am making uh, creamsicle ice cream. It's the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I was looking for. Half baked. Uh, Chris, you have it. You forgot to clean the microwave. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. You've got 15 minutes left on the clock. I think my waffle is actually really not bad. It needs another second. You know what? Most people don't understand when you have waffles, the minute they're almost done, you pull the plug and let them sit. And they, they come away from the machine. They get to let that crust sit. Waffle wisdom. New show I did, Jeffrey. WW. Waffle wisdom with Jeffrey Zakarian. Oh, God, it's that color? It's red? Oh, that's it's delicious. 
Okay, folks, you're looking at 10 minutes. Hello. Banana and rum. Banana rum and whiskey? Apparently so. Alex, what happened to your lipstick-colored icing? I cooked the icing with uh, dried cherries. Listen, do you, really? Do I do that to your banana? <laughs> She's just jealous of my creamsicle ice cream. It's so fantastic. I just tasted it. She's really much better than me in pastries. Word. She is. She just gets it. All right, chefs, you are down to your final minute. Marshmallows on fire. I don't know, Alex. Somehow you look happier when you're burning something with a torch. I'm angry, Ted. That's okay. It's, you have every right to be angry. What is up with the color of this icing? Ugh. This is not what I wanted. Just so everybody's clear. <laughs> Under 30 seconds, folks. It's not working. Okay. Alex, who seems to have achieved basically a mashed potato consistency. You know, I like when you're on uh, Team Alex there. I am so on Team Alex. Thank you. Good gentleman. Oh, my God, that's a lot. All right, folks, we have got to wrap this thing up in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step back. Yay. All right. Oh, Desserty very excited. goodness. Desserty goodness. There you go, buddy. Check it out. I think we start with Alex. Shall we start with Alex? Oh, Alex. Uh, this is a uh, stab at Americana. It's a vanilla red velvet ice cream with creamsicle sherbet, brulee bananas, and a cherry cocoa nib brownie. Dig in. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get down. Yeah, Try to get all the stuff. I'll tell you what's really good about Chocolate. this. She used cherries mm. to cut the sweet. I and wanted the red velvet to be something recognizable. And this is your texture and the combination of the brulee banana against all the soft stuff. There's some coconut, too. Yum. And salt. You really made something really sophisticated from four ingredients that really had nothing to do with sophistication. Thank you. So, it's respect. Mm. I would never know that that was from a box, a tube, and a jar. Thank you. Jeffries and Karen, what do we got? Chefs, what I made is a chocolate brownie waffle and a cannoli red velvet cream. And then I made a traditional milkshake. You made a cocktail. Made a cocktail. But it's so, what that, I do. that's so Americana right here, though. I love it. This is delicious. It's boozy. It's just the right amount of boozy. It's balanced. I taste the rum. I feel like I'm on a cruise. <laughs> I can't believe that this is the same brownie mix that Alex and I got. It's just delicious. Jeffrey, you have a really playful <clears throat> side. You do your whimsical, even when you're dealing with scoops of caviar. And I think this really showcases. Well, I didn't know what to do with brownies. I mean, I'm not a brownie lover, quite I frankly. I love brownies. You do? Oh. Um, but I do love waffles, because waffles, you can put anything in, and the kids love it. And they can be savory, and they can be sweet. And it's a waffle. You can have one or two bites of a waffle. You'd be very happy with it. You don't have to finish it. I love it. Chris, what do we have? So I made a uh, banana, peanut butter, and chocolate quesadilla with a marshmallow icing and salted, roasted, slightly burnt peanuts. Do we have some? Yes. Mm -hmm. This alone goes in. That's a okay. great dessert to share. Chris, I think you really did a nice job of taming that vivid lipstick red colored uh, icing, which was a, oh, hard to take. You know, I got to be totally honest with you, Ted. I had no idea that it was red. This was not the hue I was trying to get for my dessert. I think it's beautiful dessert. I love the banana and the peanut butter. Oh, it's so good. I love that you melt peanut butter. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Well, there's nothing better than peanut butter with bananas. Hot. I like actually the creaminess of the bananas and the banana pudding. I also think the over toasted peanut is a bitter taste that makes the chocolate in the brownie mix more noble than it actually is. What I was trying to do really was not reinvent anything, but maybe reinvent it in a slightly different way and also just kind of cut that sweetness a little bit. I don't know if I did it, but I would eat this at midnight while watching a horror movie. Godzilla? 100%. Alex, Jeffrey, Chris, you took that sugar fest of a basket, reined it in, and made some truly fantastic desserts. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Find more bonus rounds with our judges at foodnetwork.com slash chopped.